600 volunteers. 165 houses to be built. 800 township people to be housed. 12,000 mile round trip. 18,300 houses built so far. 100,000 people given new homes. What an absolutely amazing moment this here today. It is absolutely staggering beyond belief that 600 people have traveled from a small island 6,000 miles away. Many of you have overcome enormous personal challenges to be here today. All of you have earned the right to be on this trip. I want you to do your best for yourself I want you to make the people back home proud that they supported you to make it possible to get here. I want this community to see how much we care for all of you and by our effort this week we hope 80 families will be living in houses at the end of this week who had nothing at the start of it. Hi, I'm the girls' teacher there from Mount Mercy College and they did amazing work during the year of fundraising. They worked really, really, really hard during the year doing everything from bagpacking, flag days and the amount of ideas they came up with in class was fantastic. And they worked together as a class and then they interviewed afterwards to come over. So we had room for four people so I came over with them and they are just loving every minute of it. It's a brilliant opportunity and a great chance for any teacher to bring their students out here. It's really worth a million. It's brilliant. It's very emotional because you see small children, some of them are only a year and a half, two, three years old and uh, there's 55 in here in this creche but there's lots more here on the streets that have no chance of, of schooling our creche because the facilities just aren't there. This is our third time in seeing the shack and it's as hard this time as it was the first time. But you see actually what they're actually living in and what they have to. Like the simple little thing like light, there's no light. At home we turn on a switch, we have light. They have they have nothing. It's so warm in there. The heat. And the smell of the um, paraffin with this little tiny little cooker thing. 
and just that that's what, you know, no running water or nothing else. And you know what? It's just crazy it's just that people right. live that way. It's not. It's just not right. Very overwhelming. Don't don't know how lucky you are. Um, and people are just so like the children just smile for so so little, um, and they just appreciate so much like just a bottle of water. And it's just I, don't know, I get emotional when you're talking about it now. It's just no, it just it makes it means so much to see everyone out here volunteering, and then they're not getting paid and we're all here for the same reason, to help the kids, and it's not necessarily for the parents and the house, it's for their future, it's for the children's children. And yeah, I just hope, I hope it makes a difference to a good few families this week. Great view here at Table Mountain, and over here. Hi there, this is the gardening team, and we're at the little bit of the project we're doing over in the crash. Um, over here there was absolutely nothing when we came first, that was it, there was rubble, glass, all kinds of stuff that we've removed. But what we've put in basically is we have created this bus for the older ladies and the kids if they so choose. We've made some seats um, that they can sit on. Then over here we've built a swing which should be a bit of fun for them as well. We have two lovely sandboxes done as well and we also have a slide which is currently in production and we should be in there hopefully before the day is out. Let's go over on the other side and, uh, and then we've grassed the whole place. It's nice and it's, it's, it gives a lovely green fresh impression to the whole thing. It's clean, safe for the kids to run around and we've planted another tree and a good few shrubs and flowers around it. And hopefully they'll maintain it and hopefully it'll give them great fun for years to come. There are 600 volunteers here working on the site, uh, men and women, uh, students uh, from all walks of life. So you have your accountants, bankers, teachers, you name it. Everyone is chipping in, doing what they can. Uh, you have your tradesmen obviously as well. Uh, this experience has been unbelievable for myself. For next year I'd like to encourage um, anyone who, who can spare seven days, you know, out of 365 days to come over here uh, to, to South Africa and support the Nile Mellon uh, Township Blitz. Uh, trust me, it's absolutely amazing and when you actually physically see it, you know, that's when it hits home.
moment I'm going to remember is when I wake up on Christmas morning and I'm playing with my kids, I'll be thinking of Florence and Robert waking up in their new house and being such a special day playing with their kids. So I'm absolutely delighted for them. And well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wish you the greatest joy and happiness in your new home to you and your family on behalf of the entire Red Team.